So they say real estate is booming at the moment. And we're inside an old castle here in Barntown, County Wexford. But when I moved back to Ireland from being abroad, my wife said to me, she's a Yank, Chris, look at all these castles. Stop, look at the castle. Stop, look at the castle. And I was saying to her, there's castles everywhere. You're going to get bored looking at castles. People put washing lines on castles. They play handball against castles. They shelter cows on one side of castles. But this castle here in Barntown is important because it tells us something important about our history, about where we've come from, and about what we can learn from the past. And the Barntown Heritage Group are about to do this castle up. The, the problem with this is that although it is in good repair so, so far as it's, it's still extant, it's still standing, you can still see the, the, the shape of it, you can see the inside of it, you know, all these features are still there, but on the west side and in the south side, you can see the walls are being undermined there. A lot of rubble uh, masonry has fallen out of it, and if that is not repaired, this tower will collapse. There's no question of that, it'll just fall down. We're particularly blessed in this part of Wexford with the castles that we have remaining. So we asked Ronan O'Flaherty, a local resident here in Barntown, to give us a bit of the background to the history of these great castles. We're here at the moment, we're in the middle of the Wexford Pale, right? So this is where, Wexford was the earliest place to be colonised by the Normans when they came over. And they did a great job at the start, and then the Irish gradually started to uh, uh, grab the territory back again. So the, the, the colony began to contract and it developed an area called the Pale. There was a Pale outside Dublin as well, a Pale outside Wexford. And the Pale in this case ran from uh, just down here, where we can see here uh, at the river there at Ferry Carrig, all the way across to Duncormac on the south coast. So a big sweeping arc taken in uh, Tamun and the end of the, of the fourth mountain here, swings all the way around there. And that's the area that they fell back on. And because they're under pressure, what do you do? You start to fortify like mad. So in this particular area here, there's, there's about 137 castles we know in a very small area that were being built. All of the same design, all of the design that you see here. Once they got that design, they were very happy with that design. It's very nice. Up here on this glorious day, Fort Mountain is behind us. And as I walk around Roach's castle, Mr. Roach that built the castle, I mean, the views here are stunning, but there's natural barriers. Think of Fort Mountain, and we've got the beautiful River Slaney down here. This was probably all done for a reason. 500 years ago, if you were here uh, and you're on the top of this castle here, you'd be looking upon a landscape that is full of other castles. And you could see, if you like, and any other castle you see is going to be a friendly castle. So it's nice to see that. <laughs> and uh, so Timon is down that side of it. Yes. Ferry Carrig is, is over there. Yeah. Uh, and these are all families that you know and you've probably married into as well. Yeah. And it would have looked quite different here. We see this in the middle of a field. Yes. Uh, but really this would have been the center of a farming community okay. so there would have been more houses around here there would probably have been a hall we haven't found the hall yet but there was probably a hall uh, here there's lots of interesting bumps and features in this field yes. so there could be a lot more going on yeah. uh, here and of course there would have been a straggle of houses all around it because we know people want to be near the castle for safety and we've still got i won't call it straggler houses but now it's called <laughs> barntown village and it's just <laughs> there so the Barntown Heritage Group are in phase one of, you know, fixing up the doer upper. Uh, they've got 80% funding, but this is where you guys need to come in and help. So follow the link, go to the funding campaign and donate. Just a euro each would be great and it'd all be done. They'd have the money. There's going to be a geophysical survey of the field. Who knows what lies beneath? You're all going to want to be part of this. We can all enjoy this castle.